So my claim to fame in political activism, um, which to me, I don't really care. You know, I don't care if it's fucking 20 years after I die before people start watching my videos, as long as my videos hit eventually. But anyway, my claim to fame was, you know, the Zimmerman um, incident. I was the front runner, and I probably had a lot to do with, you know, the hoodie movement because I was wearing a hoodie and I looked just like um, Trayvon Martin. I might have been, you know, I didn't do that on purpose, you know. I looked a lot similar to him, not just like, you know, I looked very similar to him. So I believe a lot of people who pressed the video might have thought that um, it was actually footage of Trayvon Martin or something along those lines, you know. And it was taken off because, um, well, the closest, the only thing I, I can think of why it was taken off is I said, you know what you must do very angrily, right? But so what? You're not allowed to say you know what you must do? Like, you don't trust the American people to know what they must do? And if I say, hey, you know what you must do, don't listen to the government, don't listen to, you know, this this person or that person, that, that means you should take my video off? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you motherfuckers? And also, I believe I had another video. I don't know if it was on that channel. I know I had this video, but I don't know if it was on that channel or a different channel. But it was taken off because the channel was taken off, whatever channel it was on. Um, where I said, um, well, it was a video about um, Iran, I believe the Gulf of Aden, and provoking America to war, and me going off on Panetta and war profiteers. And it reached about 100,000 plus views. And that was the most recorded views that I've had. Every other video that had that many views were, were frozen. My black versus Mexican video, because of my prescription pill um, subtitles on it, it was frozen. Um, I had this one where I put it population control together beautifully with pharma, with everything. I put it all together beautifully, you know. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Um, I don't recommend watching that channel. Some of my older channels have a lot of very controversial videos that I don't myself regret making, but I've lost access to them, and YouTube won't give me back access to them. Um, because I don't have enough information, supposedly, to get my account back, or, you know. And so I've, I've had to go way out of my way to look for individual videos that they allow me, that, that show my face, that they allow me to take off when I don't want those videos up anymore. It's very sad that you can't, you can't, you know, and they have no number to call. Like, I was willing to, at one point I believe they had, you, you paid $60 and somebody would look into it for you. They stopped doing that. Like, why would you stop doing that? You're making your money, you know. They stopped doing that. And so I can't even pay them, you know. I'd have to pay to get a court order to do it. You know, it's really, really ridiculous, you know. Um, so if, if you can't prove, if you don't have your face on it, you know, you have to get a court order to get it down. Isn't that fucking completely ridiculous and unfair, you know? But anyway, um, so... There's a million reasons why they're cracking down on me. You know, there's a million reasons why they focus their energy on me. You know, I've become a person of interest when it comes to oppressing people. I've become America's, you know, one of America's most hated people. You know, I definitely say they hate me more than Alex Jones or anybody like that. Um, because with Alex Jones, he comes off as somebody who's in it for the money. You know, somebody who other people have claimed as a government agent. No one's ever claimed that I'm a government agent. Because it, <laughs> it'll be pretty fucking ridiculous to cl claim such a thing, you know, for many reasons. You know? And no one has ever disproven anything I've said. You know, as as with Alex Jones, um, he's been disproven, you know? And he, he didn't come out and say, well, I was wrong about that. But he was still wrong about some stuff, you know? One of them had to do with, you know, I believe the year 2000 and you know an impending uh, Russian attack or something and I don't know the story but there, there's some things you know and there's other things that he goes too far with that he's not exactly right about and he said himself he's about 80% right you know I've heard broadcasts where he said he's about 80% right with what he said as with me I'm about 99.9999 and that point zero 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 one is the few videos that I've said myself that I made a mistake, you know, trying to predict the Republican primary, like who fucking cares, you know, and little slips of the tongue here and there, you know, that don't affect the key points in the video. So, um, you can see why it's more, it's of greater importance to silence me than to even silence somebody who gets millions of viewers, you know, such as him, 
and millions of listeners and stuff, you know. So, it, it's truly sad how I'm, you know, I'm probably one of the most hated men in America when it comes to the New World Order. And I'm the least appreciated person when it comes to, least appreciated man when it comes to beautiful women. <laughs> I mean, you want to ask yourself, why would this guy, who's such a great guy, he put his life on the line, he's the top martial arts in California, possibly America, you know, he comes from this nice family, you know, of people that, you know, doctors who help society and give tons of money to help society. And, you know, why wouldn't they like this guy? You know, why wouldn't they? You know, that's what's one of the things that disgusts me the most about women is I see it with myself. There's nothing any woman could possibly ever, 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 ever tell me about women having good judgment or about me being wrong about women. I did the study myself and I see it myself. I see how, you know, the vultures are trying to pick at what's left of me as I'm on my way to death, you know? Um... They're, you know, they're circling around, you know, and, and trying to bite me ahead of time, you know, and, and there's, there's bitches trying to take advantage, you know, because the beautiful women weren't there. Do you really think that I would have came to the conclusion that it's necessary to martyr myself if I had children and I was married to a beautiful lady? And ask yourself why I'm not. Truly search your soul and ask yourself why isn't this great guy, this good looking guy, this great martial artist, this man of God, this man of righteousness, this idealist, why isn't there? Because women have failed man. Okay? And don't for one second think that I'm the only one or that I only think of myself when I think of this. I understand very well the greater implications. You know, if women treat me like this, what about everybody like me and everybody almost as great as me? How do they get treated? You know, why a bunch of fucking geek fucking pussies who, who fucking get money and with networking with fucking secret society scum and a bunch of fucking rich white privileged pieces of shit, you know, and a bunch of fucking unscrupulous perverted sickos with money get all the good women, get all the beautiful women. Not good women, beautiful. <laughs> There's a difference. Anyway, it begs the question, are there any good, beautiful women left? Yeah, I'm sure there are, you know. that I'm sure there are, you know. But they're such a needle in a haystack. It's like winning the fucking lotto. Just because some guy might, hey, my wife's a beautiful, good woman. Yeah, you won the lotto, man. Congratulations. What about the rest of the world? You know? What about the rest of the world, buddy? What's the deeper implications of you winning the fucking lotto? Right when you say, well, what about my wife? And then you turn around and say, well, how lucky you are. How... <laughs> That's the answer right there. How lucky you are. How lucky you are indeed. <laughs> Shit. You know? And I can't talk about women enough, okay? I can't talk about them enough. I want to make sure that when my videos finally fucking start hitting where they should be, you know, 100,000, million views per video, etc., when they finally start hitting, that you stupid little unscrupulous whores and you feminists who pretend to fight for mankind, you know, are exposed as the demonic, succubi, evil, gold-digging witches you are. Shame on you. Shame on you all. Shame on you for spreading your demonic disease of the mind. The fuck is wrong with you bitches? The fuck is wrong with you whores? Am I guilty of slut shaming? <laughs> if it was my job in heaven to toss the sluts into the internal fire, I would take great, great, great pleasure in it. You fucking demons. <laughs> Am I slut shaming? That's putting it fucking lightly. Okay, sluts are evil. Gold diggers are evil. And feminists are consumed with evil. Some of them may even mean well, but they're consumed with evil vengeance and a lack of insight and a lack of understanding of the greater effects and implications of what they're doing and whose agenda it really is. The devils and their secret, and his secret society minions. Shame on you. Shame on you women. Shame on you for what you've done to all mankind. And finally, when that truly soaks in, when you truly appreciate that and put your head down like you should, shame on you for what you've done to me. Shame on every single beautiful woman my age in the entire world. You've left me with no other logical conclusion but martyrdom. 
Thank you.